Hey guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. This week we are doing a um, athletic wear review for the new Gymshark Flex Leggings and the new Balance Athletica Kingdom Collection. This video is probably going to be a little bit late for you guys just because um, my Balance Athletica stuff has not come in yet. So I ordered on Saturday. It's expected to be here Wednesday. So as soon as I get that tried on, I will edit everything and put it on here for you guys. So that is why this is late. I also didn't upload last week because I had planned to do the Gymshark Flex Legging review last week. I had filmed it and looked at it and it definitely wasn't something that I was comfortable with releasing just because it wasn't my best work. Um, I want to give you guys good point good quality content that you can watch and that you enjoy and I just didn't feel like that was that so I didn't upload last week and we're gonna do it this week instead so with that being said we are going to go ahead and talk about the Gymshark flex leggings um, I'm going to start out with I did not like the last Gymshark flex leggings because it's not that I didn't like the actual leggings themselves. I didn't like the waistband and I didn't like the length of them. So I had to roll them probably two or three times to get them to the length that I needed them to be. And I'm not like super short. I'm 5'4 and I wore a size small. So that was my size. It definitely was like the size of someone who would be like 5'8 or 5'9. So I had to roll it up to fit my short legs. Um, the waistband definitely was very constricting. Um, I felt like it pushed things down and it pushed things up and it really wasn't flattering on me. It was flattering on a lot of other people, just wasn't flattering on me. I also find this to happen with a lot of Gymshark's high-waisted legging materials. So. And it's the like this ribbed waistband. So these leggings do do this a little bit for me, but not as bad. And I will show you that in just a second. Um, the colorways that I got were these khaki, um, khaki, and blush nude. So it's like a light pink beige color almost. And then I'm wearing the charcoal gray and dusky pink color. They also came out with a black, but they basically were like a black legging with black contouring. And I felt like it didn't really do what the flex legging was intended to do, which is to kind of contour everything for you and accentuate certain body parts. And so I didn't get those ones, but I'm going, oh, I also got the sports bra too for the charcoal and pink set. So what that looks like is it has the little Gymshark detailing in the dusky pink. It has some like contouring here. And then on the back it has um, Gymshark and light pink. And the straps are just like um, cami or tank top straps kind of. So it's really simple, but it's really cute and it matches these leggings. The leggings themselves look like like this and there is as you can see a little bit of that scrunching in the waistband that I told you about but definitely not as much as what there used to be in the old flex so I definitely like these a lot more than the old flex they've got the contouring and then the length I don't have to fold them up as much there's just a little bit right there that I have to fold and it's definitely not terrible at all so that is the Gymshark flex legging and I will kind of show you the balance athletica kingdom collection when that comes in so this clip got lost but basically what it was was me explaining um, first of all I'm not a huge print pattern person for leggings 
So I did get most of my tops from Balance in the patterns, and I got the solid collar leggings just so that I had something to go with them. Um, I also only got the Copperhead and the Leopard print that you will see in just a second. I also know the that the Balance Athletica launch for this collection has sold out, but they are doing a pre-sale where they are basically making items orders to order so um you'll order and they will send your order or like the total number of inventory from all of the orders to manufacturers and they're going to have them custom made kind of just so that they make sure that you get everything that you want from the collection and they are doing that pre-sale until um wednesday february 27th so, I will put the link for the pre-sale as well down in the description box. And we'll just get into the next part. Got full, so there's that. But, um, I kind of wanted to go into what the first launch from the company looked like and kind of what this launch is looking like as well, just so that you guys can kind of compare. And I did get stuff from both launches. So I can kind of tell you how things are fitting differently and that kind of thing as well. So the first launch, if you saw my favorite, my workout clothing favorites, um, I did talk about this and that. But they had the Define, yeah, the Define Crop, mine's all wrinkly because I wore it to the gym today. Um, they had the Define Crop top that was a crop top like it's a sports bra but it's got more fabric at the bottom so that it honestly hits you just a tiny bit above your belly button but it's got this cute little design in the back and it says balance on it right here and then they have the OG pants that are 7 8 length they come down in the back they're pretty standard pants um, basically they kept the OG pants, and I have these ones on in the brown collar. So, right here, this collar, it is a pretty mahogany brown collar. So, it's not quite all the way brown. It does have a tint of red to it, but it's the deepest brown that I've been able to find. I kind of stay away from browns just because I've had a pair of nude pants before. And it looked like I wasn't wearing pants, so I avoided that. And then you saw the top. It is like a standard sports bra. This is the King Cheetah, which is cheetah print. I like the cheetah print. I wouldn't like it as a legging because that's a little bit too much. But this, I can kind of show what I want to show. I can show the straps like on this tank top and in the back if I want to show the pattern. If I wanted to take my shirt off and just have like the top, that's fine too. It's very simple, very cute. The patterning on this one is um, rattle skin. And I'm honestly kind of interested in the snow, snow leopard as well. But the top kind of fits a little bit smaller than the defined top did. I honestly would opt up to a medium in this and I wore a small in the Define. I got a small in the bottom still and I think that they honestly fit me a little bit better than the first ones did. I am a size 5'6 in jeans leaning more towards a 3'4 than I am a 7'8 so I'm on the smaller side of a 5'6 and I got a small in both of these. The smalls in the originals both the red pair and the blue pair that I have are kind of loose on me. These ones seem a little bit snugger. The waistband comes up a little bit higher and I have more room in the calf, which is what they said they were going to be doing with it. So I'm not really shocked to have that. There's also a little bit less bunching in the front than I have in the original. That's also another thing that they said they were going to do. So to compare them to the old launch, that's what it is. Um... I also feel like some of these things could go together. I know that the King Cheetah these, and the Snow Leopard were supposed to be going with the Dire Wolf, which was the plain black. 
and then this rattlesnake or copperhead which is like the snake skin was supposed to be going with the Kodiak pants which is what I did. Um, I wasn't interested in the OG pants just because they're standard black pair of leggings and I have tons of those. So I feel like this will go with those perfectly. I also feel like when I was switching out my clothes, um, the navy collar from the original line, the original Outlander collection, went really well with the brown pants that I'm wearing, the Kodiak, so I would guess that they would go okay with this rattleskin, the copperhead, I keep calling it rattlesnake, it is technically a rattlesnake, but it's called copperhead, um, so I feel like this is very versatile. You could obviously also match this with like a burnt orange maybe or anything like that. So it looks the way that it's kind of advertised. It looks like everything just goes in one outfit which is kind of another reason why I was iffy to order. But as I've kind of you know thought about the pieces I want to be able to wear them in different outfits and not just wear the same outfit all the time. So. I've kind of put together outfits for everything that I've bought and definitely made them a little bit more versatile than what they appear to be on social media, which isn't their fault. They're marketing their products, they're marketing what they made to go together, but I just want to be able to have a lot more use out of it than just these pants going with these specific bottoms or this shirt, this top going with just black leggings when they could go with a lot more than that so just keep that in mind as well um I think that that's it for everything obviously as usual if you guys have any questions I will put links to everything in the description box I will also put my measurements the last time I took measurements into the description box as well um the Gymshark seamless the Gymshark flex I was a small the in both the top and the bottom the um, OG pant from balance I did order small and they fit me very well and the um, tops I ordered a small but I honestly could probably go with a medium and I think that that's what I'm going to do so I will be exchanging them and pre-ordering maybe not exchanging them I really want to wear them now they do fit but I think that a medium would better fit me so I will put all my measurements down below and everything like that I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that this helped if maybe you guys were looking at something but you didn't quite know if you wanted to get it just having an unsponsored video about a lot of different products that have been coming out lately and so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.